Accelerator's strongest form from the light novel has just been announced as a new battle character in the game Toaru Imaginary Fest. And damn, he looks clean as hell, even though I'm a bit disappointed by his special move. But what are the Platinum Wings? What can they actually do? And what makes them so powerful? These wings first debuted in New Testament Volume 22 of the Index Light Novel and were a massive shock to most fans who were reading it at the time. Accelerator awakened them due to using both scientific and magical knowledge to access the mysterious artificial fir tree known as the Klonoff. And no, I'm not talking about the trees you see when you go outside. Before the Klonoff, there were only two trees that governed the universe. The Tree of Sephiroth, or the Tree of Life, and the Tree of Clipoff, or the Tree of Evil. The Sephiroth's function is to divide beings in terms of how pure their soul actually is, in relation to how close to God they are. It basically divides and separates humans, angels, and godlike beings into ranks on the tree. The higher up you go, the higher you are to God. With the concept known as Ein Sof being the territory of God beyond the tree, otherwise known as Infinity. Now, it is possible to climb the tree for humans by completing something known as aethers. Essentially, they are like challenges or magic rituals you complete within yourself and the wider universe in order to purify your soul and become closer to God. And if you complete the 10th aether, or crossing the abyss of Sephiroth, which is located in between the top three spheres of the tree, that basically means you've completed the entire thing and have knowledge over all the spheres or ranks of the tree itself. Now, with the clip off or the tree of evil, it's pretty much the negative equivalent of the Sephiroth and malevolent beings. And doing immoral actions and sinful actions will count as being from the clip off as opposed to the Sephiroth. Back to Accelerator as we now talk about the Klonoff. The true nature of the Misaka network, which are the many signals formed by thousands of Misaka clones. The Misaka network is structured in a way that it replicates the principles of what a tree is, with many connecting pathways that transcends life and death. The network itself is even sentient, as the will of the Misaka network acts as the hive mind for it, including for all the dead clones. It is also the key to becoming level 6, and it's not a surprise that Isaac Rosenthal wanted to use the Misaka clones as a way to get to level 6, because he saw the similarities between it and the Sephiroth, which he thought would turn his perfect golem into god. Or the fact that in Index herself noticed that the concept of level 6 was strangely similar to the concept of Ein Sof, a human getting to the territory of God and reaching infinity. This is because the Misaka network was essentially created by Alistair Crowley, a magician who defected to the science side and founded Academy City. Accelerator used the knowledge of both Clipper Puzzle 545, the guardian of the Tree of Clipoff, and the will of the Misaka network to access the Klonoff itself and apply it to the universe. As Clipper Puzzle 545 also saw that the Misaka network had the same structure as the metaphysical trees and then took it on herself to bridge the gap between Accelerator and the tree. With the demon taking upon this new role, she allowed Accelerator to cross the abyss and gain these new wings. Their appearance looked very similar to the ones used by Iwaz, who actually taunted Accelerator previously that his black wings were from a previous Aeon, that they didn't match the same level of knowledge that Iwaz had. But this all changed. With the power of the Klonoff, Accelerator was able to channel its invisible power that runs through the universe to launch devastating attacks, such as his invisible Vector Spears, which tore through Magic God Neptis, with her unable to even regenerate from it. This attack is used as Platinum Wings Accelerator Special in Toaru Imaginary Fest. Except it's not so invisible in the animation. And it just looks like his evil looking wind from Index Season 3. Kinda strange, but alright I guess. 
he could also shape the entire galaxy to form a physical strike, which separated the demon Kuronzon's soul from her body. This is even more impressive because Kuronzon was unable to be harmed from anything from the other two trees due to her being a great demon with affinity for the clip off but also being the guardian of the abyss of Sephiroth, controlling the fate of all other beings who attempted to climb or descend the tree of Sephiroth. Essentially, she could prevent anyone from getting to her level if she wanted, which is likely why Alistair Crowley was unable to cross the abyss of Sephiroth in his lifetime, as Kuronzon absolutely loathed him. I gotta admit, I can't hide my disappointment that his galaxy shake isn't even in the game. It's a huge missed opportunity for it to have been his special attack instead of the vector spear, as it could have looked something like Sephiroth's supernova from Final Fantasy VII, except much quicker. I swear they showed the planet or something in high priest special so they should have the capabilities to animate something like that i think it's kind of annoying they seem to have used the lazy option for platinum wings accelerator but oh well due to accelerator's contract with clipper puzzle 545 he now has a great knowledge of magic even if it isn't perfect and we have yet to see the full potential of the platinum wings in this story i hope this helps explain how the platinum wings function and how strong they are, as they could possibly be even greater than a magic god's power, but we will have to wait and see before they are used again in the story. If you want to see more of Accelerator's powers explained, click on the videos on screen right now and subscribe for more Index and Railgun content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.